What's good, everybody? I hope everybody had a great week. Happy Friday. The weekend is finally here. So, yeah, I hope the weekend has a lot of good things in store for you, doing things that you love, right? So, speaking of things that we love, that you love, that I love, <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to come and give you a like, like, just a little glimpse of how this little tarot thing that I do works, that, you know on my part so before I start I get all my cards ready the cards that the decks that I plan on using I don't use them all obviously but um, I cleanse them right I, I burn sage and the the sage that I usually use is the blessing sage blessing sage shout, shout out to um, soul inspirations on Huron in 104th Yes, they are my go-to for all my saging needs, crystal needs. And then a shout out to, before I start saging actually, shout out to Arts and Herbs or Herbs and Arts. I always forget how, how you know, if it's Herbs and Arts or Arts and Herbs. I think it's Herbs and Arts for all my, all your, you know, they're the ones who I buy most of my my tarot decks and I just bought my Santa Muerte deck. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I've been wanting this deck forever. Um, I like this place because you can also like check out the, you know, they have demo decks so you can see how they feel in your hands. Um, if you like the imagery, you know, they give you a chance to do all that. So I really like that place. And they're the, they're my go, they're usually my go-to for um, like my candles and stuff like that. So I really enjoy that place. Um, yeah, so what I do is I, when I, when I'm about to like do a reading, for example, I like to cleanse the energy. I cleanse my space. Do some meditation. Um, I try. I don't always do the meditation, um, but I, I I do my best to stay on top of my cleansing. And cleansings are, you know, to clear out the energy that was previously, uh, you know, coming through in the cards because sometimes the energy is not always good. So the Palo Santo, I like to, to get uh, some of that negative energy out. Um, I also like to, like I said, the I like to do the Blessing Sage because I like the messages to be blessed, right? We want the messages to be blessed. So I like to bless the, the cards. Now, this blessing uh, sage is a sage, it's a mixture of, of blue sage, cedar, uh, I'm sorry, white sage, blue sage, cedar, smudge. This, this is used in divination, which is what we do here with tarot, um, and healing, which is what I do here with tarot. Um, fortune and prosperity which I you know when I do that with tarot it's giving you the um, I, I, I want to say like when it comes to your fortune and prosperity you know there's different paths that we can take so tarot just kind of gives you a glimpse of what those paths might look like if you choose to take them will they bring you good fortune will they be detrimental in your life right um, yeah, so that's, that's the whole point of, of tarot is to help guide you. You're not, it's not to, it's not the end all be all. Let's say I do a tarot reading for you and you don't like the outcome, right? The outcome is not what you were hoping. It's not, it's not what you were, uh, it's not what you is going to make you happy. So what you do is, okay, well, th that's the path that you're currently going down. You don't have to keep going down that path, right? You can, you can change it. So <clears throat> once, once you get the messages from the tarot, then you have the, you know, then that's why even God, uh, you know, the Bible talks about, uh, God gives free will. 
because free will is something that is always at play, always. And it's up to you if you want to continue down that road or if you want to you want to choose a different path, okay? So, when I first started doing tarot, I learned um I actually bought like an Italian deck. It was very big and very difficult. I even though it was the first deck that I ever bought for myself, it was not um I was never able to really connect to it. It was the actually the Rider weight that I learned uh, tarot on. And you know, so it's, I'm more comfortable with this. I'm more, I'm actually comfortable with many different decks now. Yeah, I love the Deviant Moon. <laughs> and then uh, I got my, um, my Light Sears, which I, it's pulling up like weird cards right now. Why are you salty right now? Uh, <laughs> um, oh man, the, ta the tower, what is this about? I'm sorry. Like you're, you start connecting to your, your cards, right? In different ways. Um, there was an ending with someone and now this person's feeling trapped because huh. they don't think you want them. And they see you as very fortunate. Okay, okay. So somebody's like, somebody could be watching this and they're like, oh my God, this is my person. Or this was my person. Or could be thinking this, sorry. Okay, well. Oh, yeah, see, my cards already want to start talking to me. See, you start connecting with your different cards in, in different ways. They have different energies. For example, my, my newest card, uh, cards, the newest deck that I just bought is the Santa Muerte, the Santa Muerte, and I love this deck because of the imagery, right? So let's see, we're talking about a relationship that came to an end, right, for example. Why? Because this person was the devil. Oh, shit. The devil, why did the devil come out? Whoa right away. I think one flipped over. I guess the tower, oh my god, the tower comes in because justice steps in. Somebody could have like snuck off, like they could have given you a bunch of love and snuck off, you know, but the truth is they only, they only, they, they sabotaged themselves. When at, when at the moment they actually were partying and, and just like rejoicing in what this person did to you. Wow. Okay. So now this tower is coming down. This tower, I love this card in this uh, deck because there's like doors and stairs leading everywhere. So you don't know which way is up, which way is down, you know, which way is left, which way is right. Tower is like complete chaos because of some devilish behaviors, but that's justice, this is a karma. What? See, do you see what I'm talking about? I like these, this deck. Somebody started like a new beginning and is having victory in this new beginning. It's like, after everything dies, like I see this as fall, like fall, everything's dying going through you're about to go through winter right and then and then here comes spring the butterflies flowers new beginnings yeah happiness with the sun oh my god the empress oh my god guys there was a lot of secrets about somebody being a player this person gave their wand to everybody when this this other person believed they were in a partnership okay so let's pull the deviant moon tarot okay somebody's money could be suffering now this I would use this deviant moon tarot oh yeah t painful endings I would use the Deviant Moon Tarot on the Santa Muerte deck, they, they have similar energies, okay? So let's see if we get what we pull out with the, the Deviant Moon. I 
love this deck. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> I'm so excited when I bought it. I bought it, I don't know if you can get it cheaper online. I, I prefer to buy my decks in person. Um, but this one, when I bought it, it was, it was only $27, so. Yeah, that was a pretty affordable deck. There's some that are more expensive. All right, so we got the Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands and the Tower. So this player uh, could see that you're coming into money and the fact that you, you're starting something somewhere else. They're having a tower moment. Remember how the Three of Cups came out in the other one? Uh, how they were partying it was like they they were rejoicing in the fact that they they created uh, um, conflict and turmoil in your life and they were they were they were really happy about it what's going to be their outcome what's going to be death what is a death card Oh, they're gonna get caught. Whatever they were doing, they're gonna get caught. Yeah, people are gonna see, and justice is gonna come in. Wow. They could have been doing something illegal. Okay, guys. I'm trying to set you up, I just got set you up set you up okay so let's see which deck should we use now um okay so the reason i have if you're wondering about this deck is this the the gilded tarot um i used this the reason i had these flipped like this crossed is because i use this deck for my yes or no questions and the 22 majors are the the yes or no cards just the majors so i separated the all the majors these are the majors right 22 majors so i cleanse them and i keep them put aside in case i need to ask a yes or no question and this is a modern witch tarot it's similar to the rider weight um similar but not exact the same you know that's a little bit more modern right <laughs> let's see if I can find the chariot well yeah the chariot see so it's just a little bit more yeah this one even though it has the same amount of cards as this deck it's just so much bigger for some reason I like the modern witch um it's more lgbt friendly um see the the king of swords is actually a female because remember when we're talking about energies and this is why i like this deck is because let's say i'm pulling about um a female but the energy keeps coming off as masculine you know, we, every, every one of us embodies feminine and masculine energies. So however you come through is, you know, not, not indicative of your gender. It's just the energy that you're um, harnessing at that moment. Okay. All right. And then I know I showed you the light seers. Oh, see the chariot. There's the chariot. So it's just to kind of show you the different imagery of and then the death card obviously is different um, the high priestess i i like i like it i like this deck it's a, it really is one of my favorite decks um, the light seers but yeah and um so yeah that's what i do i just kind of cleanse everything get my cards together the ones i'm planning on using 
um, allow, try, usually my meditative sessions are just kind of like, they're either in the shower as I'm cleansing, um, sometimes it's when I'm listening to music, it, it really just comes to me, you know, if I don't put out videos, it's probably because there aren't any messages that are needing to come out like desperately. Um, a lot of the work that I do is very um, inspired by my intuition. I don't, um, I do have a regular ritual practice, but um, that's something that I, is between me and my, you know, that's, that's my ritual. Everybody should have their own ritual. Um, you know, that's my own private practice, but I do, I do, when I do these, uh, when I do readings, when I get ready for readings, you know, um, I try to allow the messages to come to me as they need to, and that's just, just, just how it, it works, you know? Um, sometimes I can be pulling cards because I want to do a reading, and just the messages just won't come through. Oh, I just saw this. Check this out. <laughs> so, I bought, I've been, like I said, I've been in, you know, me and my family have been in, in this transition, new phases of our lives, and uh, having a baby, my first granddaughter, uh, is part of that transition and so I bought her a little tarot deck <laughs> I was so excited to buy this for her. It's a little Rider Waite um, Tarot deck, but I'm like Very sure that I'm gonna teach this little girl how to read cards She I'm just like really excited. Look how cute this is Look how cute they are <laughs> How small in comparison so I bought this for my baby <laughs> my baby my little bit of me giving that's me giving her my the little tarot deck <laughs> so, yeah I just wanted to share that I was so excited she's not even a month old she's like two weeks old and I was just so excited to get this for her her first tarot deck I'm gonna teach her so yeah well, that is just kind of like a little behind the scenes of how I just get things ready before I actually do a reading. But yeah, thanks guys for chilling with me. And yeah, hopefully you guys get a lot from the readings that I do do. Again, um, because they are general, they're not going to apply to everybody and they're kind of like specific. So it's hard to say, well, you know, it could apply to, you know, such and such amount of people. Um, when really I don't I don't think that's just how it works. I, I would probably do better with personals than doing something like on YouTube, for example, just because my my messages don't always come through as collective as as much as they do very detailed, you know, personal readings. So yeah. Um I this is what I love to do guys. I love tarot. I love, I, you know, and I've never, I grew up in a Pentecostal household, very religious household, and when I actually started to do tarot, you know, it's funny because people, you know, it's usually the religious people that say, oh, you're going to go to hell for what you do, but the truth is, you know, when I started doing tarot, this actually taught me more about how to connect to God than I ever learned growing up going to church every Sunday so I know people you know it's just looking at things a little bit differently you know you know you know you pray for for a, a, a message but you don't like how the message comes through or who's delivering the message or how they're delivering the message you know when you pray to God God's gonna answer is gonna answer you each and every time it's up to you to see it 
and this is something that I had to learn. I had a crisis of identity when I started to really get into tarot because I was like, oh my God, am I going to go to hell? Am I going to, you know, because it, it was just, it went against everything that I ever believed. And so, yeah, I, I learned to just like, uh, to let it go and just allow for God to speak to me, however that may be. And it was terrifying. It was terrifying for me. But I'm so glad I took that leap of faith, man. I really am because I feel so much more connected to God. People might think, oh, she's a witch. She does this. She does that. Yeah, I do. It's the same as prayer. You know, I pray. I just because in, in, in every religion every spiritual practice it's not wrong what's wrong is how people use it and abuse it um because you know you know you have people praying against you and your success is that not abusing what prayer is intended for you have people that do hexes and curses but then you have you know, someone who does, you know, um, protection, you know, um, it doesn't matter what, what, what it is you believe in, you know, I can find, um, my spiritual practices incorporate multiple cultures and multiple beliefs because it really just what resonates to my spirit, my soul, is what I connect with. And I know that might be scary for people, just like, you know, the whole tarot thing is scary for some people because they're like, oh, it's evil, you know, but it's because you've been conditioned to believe one way and only one way. It's just like, you know, you making money is going to be limited, limiting you uh, to only one way of making money if you're not open to understand well there's multiple ways of making money and they're all good you know you know well not all good but you know what I mean it, it's not wrong to find different avenues of making making money and um yeah I just you know I I'm just hoping that maybe getting a little insight of what it is that I do um I kind of help you understand you know it's not so terrifying and it's not evil and <laughs> I'm not like burning candles praying to the devil you know <laughs> it's nothing like that I'm trying to help liberate you from the devil if anything um, and God uses certain people um, and different divination tools to help you bring to help bring this message to you that you needed to hear so All right guys, I think I'm gonna leave that there. I know I rambled on for a long time, but I hope that this brought you some Insight on what it is that I do. All right guys. We'll see you guys next time